Hmm. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in this video, I want us to talk about the trading time frame because that's a question that I've gotten from a lot of you guys out there asking what time frame I use for trading. So, if you are getting into day trading, uh, you have to at least have a time frame based on the platform that you use. So that's what I want us to talk in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So basically, um, when it comes to trading, you have to understand what is a time frame? So time frame is just the amount of time that a trend would last uh, in the market. So if you are a, a day trader or a swing trader, a, a long term trader, you want to identify a particular trend based on time and see if that trend repeats itself. And if it's consistent, then you can kind of trade that using that time frame. So that's pretty much what it is. So if you have, or let's say Weibo, which is a platform that I trade with, if you can see up here where my mouse is, there are different time frames that you can use for trading. There's a one minute, there's a two minute, there's a three minute, um, all the way to 30 minutes. So one, two, three, five, 10, 15, and 30. And then beyond that, it that goes into hours, um, which is one, two, four, and then days, and then weeks, and then months, and then quarters, and then year. So it gives you that big window to be able to do analysis and determine uh, which way you want to go. So again, like I mentioned, there are three uh, different kinds of tra traders that can be using this time frame. So the first one would be, let's say, day traders. Uh, so day traders are people that could trade off, let's say, the one, the two, the three, the five, the 10, and the 15 minute window. So you see them within that space um, and you have to follow those trends and look at what's happening within that time frame. Um, for me, I use the one minute time frame because I'm what you call a momentum trader or a gap and go trader. So every candle that you see here on this chart, it's one minute and you can see it makes a whole lot of difference uh, for me. So I don't sit and wait. Um, my trades are fast, quick, in and out. I don't have to sit in a trade for five minutes unless there is really a good catalyst that allows me to sit in that trade. So my trades move really fast and they call them gap and go because they start moving fast and I want to see it move and I take profit as I go. So a lot of people would do um, maybe trade with a 15 minute where you can get in and then you look at that trend, like 15 minute trend. So let's switch, let's say in 15 minutes trend right here and just gonna take a look. Um, so if you were trading 15 minutes, so each of these candle is 15 minutes. So if you get in, if you got in here, you're looking at this candle, which is 15 minutes, knowing fully where that you have to wait 15 minutes um, to go up. So you can trade using that. Again, it depends on your trading strategy. Um, so that way you can determine which particular time frame you want to use. I personally use the one minute. And if you are a long term trader, um, you probably want to use maybe the week, the, the month or even the quarter to see what you want to get into. Let's say if you um, are looking at a particular stock, do some analysis, you want to see what that stock has done over uh, maybe a, a period of time, over the quarter or over the week or over the month or over a year to actually see what's been happening. So if we, let's say we take this stock right here that I'm looking here, LEDS. Uh, if you can see coming into today, this stock has been a $5 stock for a while. You can see that just sitting there at five dollars and then it popped today to a high of 13 dollars and some change um and then so the question is if you want to swing this stock are you swinging it to the upside or you're swinging to the downside um because right now support for this would be a five dollars because this thing can go back to where it came from which is five dollars so if you go in here without any catalyst this is not going to be one that you want to swing because if you're swinging to the upside you're already trading at the high here. So you don't want, unless you know that there's a catalyst that can push that high even higher, at this particular point, you don't want to touch it. So that's something that you have to be aware of um, as a swing trader. Uh, again, for long-term positions, you don't want to buy the high, you want to buy when it's actually trading at the low. So you go, to, again, you can look at the day chart here, or you can look at the weekly chart uh, and see what's happening with the stock. So this is their daily chart. Look at how this thing has moved. It went for, again, like I said, from $5 all the way to $13.40 for a high, and that's setting a new high, which to me, 
that's not usually a good place for you to get into the stock. You don't want to buy it at that high. But for day traders, and we look at the one minute candle here, um, it gives you a ton of opportunity to trade. So like right here, right out of the gate, you could have made money right there. Um, the squeeze from here all the way to up here, that's where you could have made money. Uh, even right here, this bounce off of uh, VWAP right here, you could have made some money. So uh, again, figure out what you're doing as a trader. Are you a swing trader? Focus on your daily chart decision. So you can use the weekly chart to kind of guide you um, through the process. And then if you are a day trader, you can focus on using the one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute, 10 and 15 minutes um, on the Weibo platform. And then if you are a long term trader, you can focus on using the weekly, the monthly um, and the quarterly or yearly charts to give you um, an idea as to what would be your entry point and your exit point and also to define what would be um, support and resistance for that particular stock. So that's what I wanted to cover again in this video, guys. Um, just to give you guys, uh, just to conclude here, my trading strategy is what you call momentum trading, which is gap and go. So I don't have the time to sit there or the patience to sit there uh, using the five minute candle to see what's going to happen in that trade. If you, if I'm doing a swing trade or if I see a particular stock that has a catalyst, then I can do that. But on a daily basis, I'm just trading stocks that are gapping, moving fast. Volume comes in and you buy and sell very quick that's why volume it's a huge part of my strategy if you watch some of my videos i talk a lot about volume because that's what drives that movement that momentum so you can go in and out as soon as possible so i'm not sitting there holding that it's going to keep going up no as soon as i make profit i secure that profit wait for another opportunity so that's what we wanted to cover in this video again guys let me know in the comment section uh what time frame you use for trading have you tried other time frames or are you just trying to figure out which one works for you? Again, if you have any doubt, um, I would say paper trade. Make sure you practice the time frame that works best for you. It doesn't mean that my time frame should be the same like what you use. Test the time frames that work for you. Maybe you're better trading up with a five minute time frame than uh, a one minute time frame. So again, are there disadvantages and advantages of using a particular time frame? Yes. Um, if you look at some of the trades, um, you could just see like hey, if somebody that was trading here using the five minute time frame, this person, if this person got in the trade, let's just say right here, if you got in the trade um, right here at 8.1, if you're using the five minute time frame, you would have been into this trade all the way to 13. But if you're using the one minute time frame, you would have gotten out like somewhere here because look at this thing act like it was going to reverse and then turn around and then squeeze back up. So again, there's advantages and disadvantages of those time frames. So you have to figure out which one works best for you. Again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated